welcome back to another video. So today we are going to look if Chromebooks are worth the money. So I've got this Lenovo C 330 Chromebook. Got a couple of tests for it. Got a charge phone and USB if it's fast and reliable. So this Chromebook has a MediaTek MT817 3C CPU with a imagination power VR. I'll put all the exact things in the description below. And while you are in the description below, please hit the bell. Please hit the subscribe button and the like. It really helps me. So that is the GPU. It has a HD 11.6 inch display with a 720p front camera which is the only camera which sadly is getting blocked a little bit as you might be able to see now further it has a it has 64 gigabytes of storage with 4 gigabytes of ram weighing a light 1.2 kilos which uh, is light but uh, don't go throwing don't go throwing Chromebooks testing how light they are. They are. Don't. So I'm just going to um, do the tests. It starts up quite fast. So, first test. Boom. Put. Wait. It's going to get you guys over here, okay? So I'm going to now plug in this USB stick. Welcome to the Chromebook. So it plugs in. And you get a little notification that it's detected. Click that. Yeah, and it opens. Work. So the next test is Can I charge your phone? Here as you might have been watching the last video I've got a almost dead Motorola Motorola Moto G third generation So I'm just going to Plug it in I'm just going to um, Of course you want to be plugged in. Yes. Okay, that's plugged in. There. Now. Moment of truth. Does it plug in? Uh, maybe if I put the cable the correct way. So I put it in. Well, yeah, it powers on. Works. So, that works. As you see, it's almost dead. So now, the part that you all have been waiting for, probably. Is it worth buying? Should I buy this Chromebook and think, okay, I can do my things? The answer is... Yes. And no. Look, if you just want to do lightweight things, such as just surf the internet or download a couple of Google Play games. Yes, it has Google Play support as well. Um, just download some games on the Google Play Store or do some editing in Google Docs or like lightweight work things. Yes, on the Lenovo website, and I'll link this down below, it says for students. So, should I be using this thing if I want to do high games such as Minecraft or Roblox or those things like Roblox you can do it but it's a little laggy Minecraft no if you want to play games like Steam games Minecraft all of those things are very powerful and cost lots of memory no don't buy it Think I'd rather off buy a maybe a little cheap or second-hand computer that is Windows 10 or 
Mac OS, something like that. If you want to do high-end work things and all those things, no. As I told you, it, does, it only has 64 gigabytes of RAM, um, no, 64 gigabytes of memory, and 4 gigabytes of RAM, so it's not like, you can do basic things on it, you can go into Google Meet for your school things, or into Zoom meeting for your school things, or whatever you use for school. You can, you can surf the internet, that's Bluetooth, that's Wi-Fi. So, now my opinion, should we buy it? My opinion is, look, Chrome OS is a lightweight operating system. It is not meant for lots of powerful things, although it does have Linux, but that's not available on all Chromebooks, and especially on this one, you're going to have some issues. But... I think if you want to do professional work things and all those things, no, just buy another laptop. If you want to do some things like just lightweight things, just open it up once to start fast, just type in a Google Doc or my or those things, yes. And look, you might now be asking, do I really have to use Google Docs? One little cheaper thing from Windows but I have all my things on Microsoft OneDrive, not on on uh, the Google Drive. Well, yes, of course, you can download you can download apps on the Google Play Store, which means you can download OneDrive. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed it. This is the second video on the channel. Every every Thursday there will be a new video. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next week. Bye! And remember, leave a like, subscribe, do the things. Also, everything's in the description below if you want some more data things. Go look in the description. Bye!